What's up you guys, it's me Oleander, and today I'm going to be talking about, in my opinion, when you should resort to bangle magic. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to be carving a bind rune onto this piece of wood. But before I get into that, I just wanted to say that for centuries, upon centuries, women like me have been called every name in the book. Since being on here, I've heard anything from charlatan to the whore of Babylon. People tell me, I hope you burn in hell, so on and so forth. So if you're coming here for that, um, you're gonna have to do a lot better than that because my feelings are black and shriveled up. So it's really hard to hurt my feelings. The reason why I don't give a fuck about people's opinions about what I do here is because tens of thousands of people, mostly women, were killed for just being suspected of doing what I actually do. So, yeah, you're going to have to do a lot better than that. But you can come over here and try your best to disturb my peace. It's just really hard to do that. What you're not going to do, though, is disturb the peace of my viewers and my clients. So I just put you on, um, what is it called when you just block them technically? I just hide you from the channel so you can keep spazzing your shit, but no one's going to be able to see it except for you. All right. So anyways, when should you resort to baneful magic? And my honest answer is as a last resort. What other avenues did you, did you take to try to remedy the issue? Did you just automatically jump to baneful magic? as the first thing to do when, when something happened to you? Or did you try to forgive them? I know people probably don't want to hear that. Did you try to forgive them first? Or did you go the legal route if they did something that needs um, legal action? Did you do that first? And I know that most systems in our country are broken, including the justice system. So I know that it doesn't always work, but did you do that first? Because that would be something to do before you tried to use baneful magic against somebody who wronged you. Um, what kinds of people should you use baneful magic against? And this one's, this one's very easy for me. I've had people come in my comments and say stuff like you just curse people for no reason and I had to correct them the kinds of people in my opinion and everybody has opinions of course but you're here on my channel so these are my opinions the types of people that you should use baneful magic against are rapists um, abusers of all sorts People that came into your life to pretty much intentionally devastate your life. Hold on, I had to fuck with the music because of the ads. Um, like people that came in and destroyed your family, a home wrecker. I think those types of people are good targets for this. Um, of course, any kind of child abuser. Any sort of magician, witch, whatever they want to call themselves, who are using rituals to hurt other people. So ritualistic abusers, I think they deserve baneful magic to be used against them. Um, let's think. I would say also any people working for corrupt agencies that knowingly work for them and do their bidding for them. I think that they are a fair target. Um, this isn't going so good. <laughs> I'm gonna burning spots that aren't supposed to be burned, but that's all right. So people who come into your life knowingly doing things that, that are not for your best interest those are the kinds of people. What kinds of people you shouldn't be using 
black magic against, I mean, baneful magic against is somebody who broke up with you, who used their own free will to break up with you, all right? I get a lot of people coming into my email like, can you please curse this person um, because they broke up with me and broke my heart. They use their free will to, to break up with you. Um, and I, that, that's their right to do. If somebody wants to break up with somebody, then they should be able to freely break up with somebody without any sort of um, enchantment put on them. So I usually just tell them, no, uh, I don't do that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. People who made you mad over trivial things. Um, someone who stole something from you that wasn't of great value it's really not worth it just replace the item i'm not talking about came in and stole your your family from you or anything like that i'm talking about came in and stole your computer or something just replace the computer try to go the legal route for stuff like that um, and in my opinion, who, as somebody who has done, I would say, a thousand curses without pulling out my, my books and looking and actually counting how many I've done, um, baneful magic in severe situations where you did try to go the legal route and you didn't receive justice and, and, you know, situations like that, um, Doing a curse on somebody can be closure. It can be the complete end of something. Because once I cast the curse, that's the end of the situation. You let it go and you just, it, it was put into the universe and let, let it let it go at that point. Um, if you're not there yet and it's, it's you're going to still um, want to do vengeful things to the person after the curse is cast, I would say you're not ready to do the curse. But those are just my opinions. Um, and so really, uh, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye for now.